Look at this. I got headphones <laughs> on. I got a mic going. <laughs> Baby. Huh? If only people could see you now. <laughs> hey, no video. We've gone through this before. All right, no all video. right, all right. <laughs> Welcome to This Commerce Life. This is a podcast aimed at small, medium entrepreneurs focused on commerce. I'm Phil, your host, and Kenny, your co-host, will join us as well. And we're going to talk to you about the world of retail and commerce and how things are changing in the world. Changed my password apparently 38 days ago. You think I remember my password? Oh, no. I had to go through the phone trying to find my password. <laughs> Could I get into the email to find the link? <laughs> oh, my Lord. That's awesome. That's that's eight minutes. <laughs> oh man, twenty nineteen, baby, twenty nineteen. I am, uh, dude. I'm, I'm making all sorts of changes. I I just um I just uh I just brought a new phone on, so I'm 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 gonna I'm not gonna look. It's all right here. And uh, if you know me and and gadgets, I love gadgets. So the temptation is gonna be to like focus on getting everything exactly the way I had it on the last phone, but I'm just not going to do it. You know, just don't not do it. doing it, not doing just it. Just don't do it. You know, you'd think okay. like with all the things I got going on, that this is the last thing I'd want, but what, you're just stressed out. I'm I'm back just, into the work world. No, no, I'm, I'm actually not a, uh, I'm, I'm dead tired though. I like, you sounded it, man. This afternoon, you sounded like a bag of poopy. Dude, we like, I, I have been like, so today was, I don't know, day number seven with Nimi um, over like four weeks, right? Like kind of two days a week or whatever. Yeah. And then today was just like, it was an offsite um, with the uh, extended leadership team. So it was just like everything, right? Like processes, you know, like. Buddy, you know, it's going to be part of it, man. Uh, you got to get in there. You got to get in there yeah. pretty quick, right? You can't yeah. just stuff it far around yeah. on the edges. So, and the funny thing is like, so I, you know, like their processes, you know, because, you know, it's, it's a, it's kind of like a 50 man team, right? So you're past the, Hey, I got it. I'm passing it to you. There's only two of us. Right. So now you're talking about like four or five man teams. They got to figure out how to connect together, to do work together, to layer everything. So like, before you start the process, we have to talk about methodology and is the methodology right? And will it apply, you know, like oh, all this stuff. Right. But you know, yeah. I mean, the funny thing is too, like in the same conversation, we're talking about runway. We're talking about how much time we have before we're going to go fundraise again, you know, like all that stuff, right? Because we're still a startup. We yeah. have some revenue, but we don't have enough. Right. So we got to yeah. go out and find more investors and like, you know, so it's, it's a lot for day one, like kind of cross. Yeah, that's what you wanted. Yeah. 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 In yeah. the cushy world, decided to go big. <laughs> That's what happens when you want to play the big shot. You know what? Like, I think the thing about me is I just can't, I, I can't sit still. Like, you know, if, if there's, if, um, I don't know, like, I, I think, I think our list, our, all four listeners have figured that out now. Like, do you remember over the summer? I got the car, right? Like everything yeah. was taken along just fine. I like I had to buy a car from Nova Scotia and fly back or drive it, fly it there, drive back, right? Then I decide the car is really great, but you know, the one seat's too low. So I'm going to put in a new block and like, I got it. Like, I just can't help but tinker with everything. Like, so, and that's what I'm doing. I think, right. Is like, you know, things are going well. Can't leave it like that. Got to tinker with it, yeah, right? Heaven like, forbid, right? We should throw a wrench into it and see what happens. Yeah, but I, I think you know what? If you don't do it, what are you going to say? You don't want to. You don't want to sit there and think, "Oh, I should could have, should have, would have." No, I mean I, it's the same thing that the, the why I jumped into this, right? I had a cushy job, right? Like yeah. I had a whole bunch of cushy jobs, but I jumped into entrepreneurship because it was like developmentally is the right thing to do. Yeah, it uh, it was the right time for it, and and like you know, what the hell, man? Like, if I don't try it, how will I ever know? Right. So you won't, you know, and the thing is like, we were talking yeah. today, I think it was, uh, I saw Linda today, right? Oh yeah. Linda this Webb. Morning had, uh, this podcast is sponsored by Linda Webb. Yes. Yeah, so today, this <laughs> podcast is definitely sponsored by Linda Webb. <laughs> <laughs> Who we so have to have on this show. Oh, this is ridiculous. Where are today. you, Linda Webb? It is the end of January. You I think we us. have to set a time with her. We should try to book her for next week. I'm I'm calling you out on the open air. So when you when you 
when you're driving and you're listening to this, the first thing you do when you stop and park your car is you text us when text you were coming Phil, on the show. Because Ken doesn't know how to do shit. Text Phil, yes. get the damn link. Or, or Facebook message me because you're, we're friends on Facebook now. Like, message me Perfect. or Thursday or night, eight o'clock hour time, Linda. You're yeah. on as a guest next you, week. You just it. tell us when. You own the show anyway. You nah, bullshit. Like every... the time. Next Thursday night. Which by the time Linda hears that, that's two days from now, Linda. <laughs> two days, baby. Get your shit together. <laughs> that's it. Screw this nonsense. Uh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Man. Why not? Man. Why not? It is. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I'm, I'm doing that. And then I decided I'd screw around with, uh, I'd screw around with phones. So I, I've added, um, I got a, a Galaxy Note 8 um that i'm going to use so that's uh no that's the the nine is the newest one and then 10 is coming out in the in august um because i i need something to take notes on um you know and and it it was just uh you know the guys at work were really nice they gave me uh, like this the microsoft surface go to try and it's just too many devices right like so i i said I'll, I'll get this because it's got the, the built-in pen. Um, I can take notes. It transfers automatically, you know, blah, blah, blah. You can blah. use it as a phone though too, right? Isn't that what, I don't know what the note yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, um, so, so it's, it's like, all oh, you're done. Like you don't have yeah. to have 12 devices. No, no, no. It's, mean, it's, a it's, a, it's a big phone. It's, it's like 6.3 or 6.4 inches. Um, but, uh, but it's got a built-in pen. Uh, the pen is an integrated pen, so it works really well. Like it's got its own software and all that kind of stuff. Awesome. So, so it's kind of like a moving notepad phone. Is what oh, okay, it is. that's okay. That's kind of yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind yeah, of cool. Yeah. I just couldn't take, you know, like I don't need more. No, I always need more devices, but I, it's just redundant. No, I get it. Kind of makes me crazy, right? So yeah, no, no, I get, uh, it, I get it. I get it. I get yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, yeah. It's funny you're doing. The, you know, I do the opposite of you. Like yeah. every time someone wants to drag me in. Yeah, I have to. No, I, I, man, I came from full time. Remember, I don't yeah. want to do this yeah. anymore. Yeah, and yet yeah. with a few of them, they're tempting. Yeah. There, there are moments. Well, it's not even go, tempting. You know, it's no because they're really nice people, be, and you're yeah. kind of thinking, okay, I don't want to go full time, but maybe, you know, I can give them like a week a month, and then you start thinking, yeah, but if you got seven or eight clients, you can't give everybody a week a month because there's not enough mm-hmm. weeks in the there's month. Not time, yeah. Right, you know, I do want to have yeah. the odd weekend off, yeah. and I don't want to work every evening. Yeah. But at the same, you know, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm can't be, be well working. enough alone, right? Yeah, I know, I know. And then people throw people at you, and you think, well, yeah. okay. Yeah. I mean, what's the cost? It doesn't cost anything to listen. Yeah, yeah, I know. So I know. So it's just, uh, yeah. Anyway, I don't know. So yeah, it's. Uh, we'll we'll see. We'll. Um, I would have to figure out how to balance all this stuff out, right? Is uh, you know, I've I've got this full time job I got to do, um, but then the other, you know, the they other job is uh, another small project. I committed to that project, and then and then I've got um, I've got two others on the go. Uh, one client is um, so Mutlux is is they're you know they're present but they're gone right like so so i'm done with them i've been working the last couple of weeks i've just been helping them with google ads and things like that so um i'll stay around and and kind of coach them but not really you know um just because we're we're friends now too so they're kind of never leaving my life that's just the way i operate yeah but um but they don't don't have to be uh buried into their world of anymore no no so so i'm out of that but i'm trying to find a spot sorry uh no that's okay um and then into locate we've been writing copy like crazy like her website's making her crazy um so we're gonna do an interim refresh uh but i've been writing her copy like just copy 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 and then the cafe we're through the postcards now, and then I'm I'm just sourcing out offices, and I got to figure out um, I got to find someone to do office drops for me, um, so they can swing by offices and and yeah. uh, you know kind of talk to them and and see what's going on. So sure, you can probably get some of the students to do that. Um, ye, maybe I think I, but I want I don't want them left at the receptionist desk. Oh, I. No, they- I, I guess to, someone who's a, who's a salesperson. Yeah, someone a little more enterprise. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Have the nice little chit chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so anyway, I'll figure that out and 
figure out what I can do there. But uh, yeah, we'll get her moving as well. And then I've got this project with you, um, which is going to be pretty cool, I think. I like this one because I just like, yeah. you know what it is? It's I like I like when you go back to sort of like marketing 100, 101. Yeah. And you, yeah. Do, you start from bare, bare bones. It's almost yeah. like sitting down, okay, should we do a SWAT? Yeah. Uh, you know, what does it look like? Yeah. Who do we want to be when we grow up? Yeah. Yeah. Right. And I like doing the personas to be very frank with you. Like I, 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 I can't, because it, it just, I don't know. I mean, marketing's so fluffy on a good day. Right. But it's kind of fun going through it. Cause I like it cause no, it does, it unflowifies it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Come on. Yeah. I mean, seriously, of all the disciplines, I mean, outside of, you know, OB, we are pretty fluffy. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. There can, there's definitely fluffy moments in it for sure. Listen, for all me. the smart ones when we were graduating, maybe yeah. you were different. We're all in accounting and finance, you know, logistics. Yeah. Probably computer science. Oh, I don't, I don't have any and of And then this. the rest like, of us were, you yeah. know, on the, you know. Yeah. English. I was an English poli sci with a minor in philosophy and creative writing. Well, was see, mine was a BCom, but my, my major yeah. was marketing. Okay. Oh yeah. See, so you're actually in it. I'm, I'm not even like, Oh yeah. Oh, you know. Oh, I, I graduated in fluffy. Nice. Nice. <laughs> what the hell, right? Oh, well, no. So on not that as fluffy note, as you, I, but mine, fluffy. Was like, mine was like hot air fluffy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine was at least, you know, you like you would, you'd be fueling my fluffy balloon. Oh yeah. 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 yeah because you guys are, you guys, that's the ultimate. You almost look concrete here. and all legit there compared to my hot fluffiness. Oh shit. Are you kidding me? Absolutely. I was in the business building. <laughs> <laughs> Faculty of commerce, baby. I was in the business building too, because my girlfriend is a BCom. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hey, so was mine. Yeah. 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 So was mine, man. She's still smarter than me. Yeah. Yeah. Mine is too. smarter than me then. She's smarter than me now. Oh, mine, mine won the, you know, like mine won the silver medal, eh? at the school. So she got the second highest GPA and the whole bit. And, you know, but the funny thing is like now when we lecture the kids, you know, the other night, like, like one of the kids was like, listen, I, I got a B and that's okay, whatever. And I, I said to them, listen, we're, we're not a B sort of family, right? Like if you can get an A, you should get an A. Like what's wrong exactly. with you? And so I look across the room and she's just throwing me looks. And I was like, listen, so afterwards, I go, to, I go to my wife. I go, listen, what I did in my academic life is none of my kids' business. Absolutely. <laughs> well, see, my kids know mine. And see, first of all, my kids know who the smarter yeah. one of the house is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, they know that mommy got a B, uh, B common finance. Yeah. So right away, mommy's way smarter than dad. Uh, uh-huh. Mommy decides to get a CPA while she's, you know, uh, pregnant with shit. I think she was doing her CPA when she was pregnant with both of them. She does the valid, valid, what do you call that? Valedictorian. Yeah. Yeah. With her CPA when she's eight months pregnant with one of them. Right. So they know dad is definitively not the brains in the house. <laughs> definitively. <laughs> so when we talk about academics and who, how you do school, be yeah. like mom. Yeah. Yeah. Cause dad didn't do much. Yeah. You know, no. dad is not ESL by any stretch of the match. Dad only knows one language. Yeah. Mom used to rewrite dad's papers in university but, as if he was ESL. But the only thing is, so the only thing that I've got probably over my wife is that um, I think I find, I think that is the trademark of at least who I am as, as a student is, and I think it is of, I think it's what makes me so successful in business is I have the ability to find patterns and I have the ability to find the fastest way, the fastest route. That's what I would do. Right? Fastest Uh, and easiest way to get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so I mean. Myself. I mean, see, Amelia is one of those ones. She needs to. No, it's got to be done right. On her own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And quite frankly, I just look and think, well, fuck it, Phil can climb faster. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. the the end goal is go. the end goal is to get there. So if, if <laughs> I can ride his, sure. you know, he looks strong enough to carry me on his back, and yeah, he go. can do it. So Absolutely. let's go, right? Like, <laughs> go, yeah, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, yeah, but Bill, uh, you're the best. Oh my god, <laughs> I give a shit. Oh my gosh. Um. So Kenny, our Kenny, I our um. Person. Now that we're we're so far in this, but but we're talking about this guy, um, that we've been talking about for a couple of weeks now. 
Um, we sat down and talked to him today and uh, we're, we're going to try and uh, he's, he's a great guy. He's got a great business that runs nationally in retailers, but he needs a bit of a jump start. His, um, you know, his product's a bit dated, right? Um, it's, it's a, it's a great product. It's a bit dated. Um, the way he's gone about messaging is a bit dated and then, and quite frankly, he wants what he can't have, right? So he's got an older demographic that's buying his product. He really, really, really wants to get to, um, really a, a 15 to 20 year, uh, younger audience than the one he's got, um, oh, somewhere yeah, in there, right? 15, yeah. Years, it seems, yeah. You know, and yeah. so, you know, Kenny and I kind of sat down with him today and, and I went through and I told him, look like. <clears throat> we can get there, but I think we need to get there in a different way. Um, you know, than, than he wants, he wants to go head on. He wants to compete with some very big players in his segment, um, to go after a much younger audience. And, and we said, listen, like, you know, you don't have 5 million bucks of marketing spend to get there. So we, we've got to go about it differently. Right. So we're going to, we're going to go back and build his marketing personas. Um, so that is the, uh, base, kind of look at his age demographic, what makes them trigger, what are the emotional words. Um, that's traditional marketing. And then the, the flip side well, is the digital marketing that. is, you know, like the digital marketing side, right? Which is, what are the key words, right? Which is really the same thing, but what are the key phrases or words that emotionally make them, you know, want to buy his yeah. product, right? So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But you know what you should do? You should, you should yeah. let people know, like the listeners know, like when you have a small business and you need you know, that, like start basics, like start with who you are and what you are and who's mm -hmm. buying you. So like yeah. maybe explain what the personas are like and why yeah. that's, a, a, it's a critical step. Yeah. So, so yeah, you're right. I mean, um, if you are in business for yourself, if you haven't done this, you should stop and do this. Um, there are some good templates online. I will, um, you know what, I'll, I'll throw a link in the podcast link below to just a handful of like generic persona links that you can look at. What you really want to do is you want to put a face to who your consumer is. Um, and typically it's not one person. It's, it's probably a whole handful of people. So if I was, um, what's a really good, you know what, if I was buying, um, if I was buying a Nike running shoe, like Air Hirachis or whatever, right? So uh, a Nike running shoe, Air Flights is a really great example. So Nike running shoe, um, Nike would go through this and go, who might buy this shoe? Um, you know, um, you know, if it's a, if it's a running shoe, I would be looking at, um, you know, it, it's a running shoe. It could be a male or female. So that's two personas already. Right. And so what you're trying to do with these personas is break out um, age, if you can, demographics, um, uh, you know, any of the other, um, you know, uh, spending habits, um, you know, uh, interests, you know, lifestyle, interest, lifestyle, incomes, um, online like habits, things, right? all of that stuff, yeah. right? Like anything that gives you an inside look on one, what that consumer would look for from you, uh, what, uh, what their biggest pain point is that you can solve. And then the third one, um, you know, would be, uh, where do you find them? Right. Those are the kind of three key things because you, you want to build these so that, um, the reason you build them is you've kind of listened to us talk about all the stuff that you got to do as a business owner. And so along the way, you're going to, sometimes you're going to forget who your customer is. The personas help you stay focused. So when you go and you, um, buy a newspaper ad, um, it really becomes a really like, you're going to look at the personas and go, someone's going to go, Hey, I can sell you a radio ad. And your first question will be, well, who's the radio for? Well, the radio is going to be for old people. Do I have any old people who would buy air Hirachis or air flights out of my life? No. Right. They're all young people. So I'm going to quite simply pass on a radio ad. Right. Um, you know, like yeah, that's kind a of, podcast. you know, yeah, yeah. So, and, and that's a really simple, but, but, but you start if, looking at that and say, okay, who yeah. listens? Who who would these people listen yeah. to? Yeah, yeah. Right. right. And, but where, and then, would, where would they go? Yeah. And then you could come to people like us. Um, well, one, if you don't have personas, you want them built, you could come to people like us and we could do it for you. Or the other way is for you to show up at my door and say, listen, I've got eight personas that I already have, but I'm having trouble focusing on what my marketing plan should look like and, and what kind of tactics I need. 
that's amazing, right? I can help yeah. you with that. Like I, I'd actually have a great time that's with fun. it, right? Because you're focused on your audience. I know who your audience is, so I know what I got to figure out how to do to help you, right? Um, yeah. You know, so that's kind of what it's for. Um, but it's one of those steps that a lot of yeah. people don't take the time to go yeah. through. Yeah. And it's, it's important. Like you need to, you know, yeah. it's great you got a good idea and great you got a cool product or whatever, but who are you talking to? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Try to figure it out or, and try to make it match with what maybe even what you want it to be. Yeah. Right? yeah. Like you said, like, you know, if you design a cool running shoe, it doesn't mean it's a hardcore marathon person. Maybe your running shoe is designed for someone who runs once a week, twice a week. And that's, that's your, your key. Then figure out where that person is. That prob- person is probably not going to be at a marathon. So sponsoring a marathon mm-hmm. is probably not your best spend. Mm-hmm. Correct. Right? Correct. Yeah. Maybe it's yeah. just the local, uh, the yeah. local 5k walk yeah. running or the and running room or, something. or whatever yeah. you want it to yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's why you need to go through the personas. Yeah. You've got to figure out who you're talking to and where they are. Yeah. And what you're and solving you for them. them. Right. Like I think, yeah. I think for small businesses, that's a really big one, right? Is, is the, huge. you know, like you've got to remember, like, here's what they're coming in to do, right? Like this is what you're trying to solve because if you're not solving anything, no one's going to buy your product. Exactly. Um, you know, so without that, you, you, you know, it's hard to advertise. It's hard to sell. Right. So, well, yeah. cause where are you, where are you advertising? Yeah. Yeah. What are you selling? You know, yeah. I mean, I don't, you yeah. know, so even if you figure out, so well, I'm selling this. Okay. That's great. But where are you going to sell it? Who yeah. are you talking to? Yeah. Like you said, you know, it's no use in the product line that we're, we talked about today. If this is a demographic that's skewing older, mm-hmm. it's probably no use, maybe, mm-hmm. being on Joe Rogan's podcast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But maybe it's a good idea to be on, you know, this podcast. Yeah. Or whatever you want. Or, you know, yeah. you got to kind of go and bob and weave where, where it makes yeah. sense for, for you. Yeah. Yeah. The, um, the basics you need for a profile. So... If you're kind of going, I need personas, what do I do now? The first step is to look at data. Um, you know, so some of the things that we've talked about on this podcast, things like Google Analytics, if you can get it, uh, Google Trends, you can go to, you can look at um, age demographics and geographic dem- demographics, which is all over the internet. Uh, the internet is your friend in this one. Ask a lot of questions and then look at your own data. Like look at who buys your stuff, right? Um, don't be fluffy about it. So don't go, eh, you know, Joe, my neighbor who's 45 came in and bought it. You've got to break that down. You've got to go, you know, how many Joes do I have in my lineup, right? So, you know, if any given week, you know, I'm selling product, if Joe is 45 and he's got two kids and he's, you know, he lives in a middle class neighborhood, how many of those guys did I get? right? Because that, yeah. the more granular you can get with that, the better your information is, the better you're going to be able to market these guys. Well, exactly. Because the 45 wasn't the kicker yeah. on that. Yeah. The 45 family man in a middle income neighborhood yeah. might've been combined is sort of what, what the play is. Yep. Right. And that's why you re- Yeah. It's a cool exercise. Like it is kind yeah. of fun. If you haven't done it, it's, it's, it's worth doing. Yeah, it definitely is worth doing. Like you, you should uh, should look at doing this. It's it's um, it's a really good thing to do. Um, yeah. So anyway, I mean that that's kind of marketing persona. So we we start we try and start there. I mean it it helps to make everything better. Um, the other the only other thing I would say, like everything else, um, you know, when you're running your businesses, it's not set in stone, right? So you you've got to constantly evolve it. So what you know today. Um, if you put it down on paper, let's say you only start with two personas. My bet is if you track that faithfully through the year, by the end of the year, you'll have four or five personas and you're going to constantly reinvent them. Oh, right? So, you know, like the, the work I'm going to do now with our friend here, by the end of the year, it might be, we think it's going to be somewhere in the five, you know, four, five, six uh, number of personas. Um, you know, by the end of the year, we're, if we're tracking this right, it might be nine. It could be 10. It could be, we could be totally wrong and there might be only three, right? But that's the evolution of the business. Exactly. We're just going to be able to do it, but exactly. guarantee that at the end of the year, you'll have a better grasp of your customer than you did uh, right now. What it does for you is you could with nine, but six of them are really maybe just way too expensive to go after. Mm-hmm. And you might find that collected is by far the easiest one to 
to please and to satisfy. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a, it's a cost issue. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's, you know, the, the advertising to them or for them or with them isn't that brutal. The conversion is going to be high, but you're thinking to yourself, you know, whatever, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because my payback is going to, but you can do that until you sort of know who you, right? So it's a good, it's a good first, right? I yeah. mean, when we, when you hung up, he looked at me and I said, this is what I've been telling you. This is, this is what you need to do. You've got yeah. to go back, you know, yeah. and then he was super excited about, you know, understanding that because that's about the, even the baby thing is trying to get, don't talk to that mom. You don't yeah. have her. Yeah. You definitely got her mom. Yeah. And she yeah. to her mom. Yeah. Or an aunt or somebody of that yeah. the generation has already done this, yeah. especially with the target uh, market that we're talking about for yeah. old culture. Yeah. Definitively, elders hold probably a little bit more weight than North American. Yeah. Um, yeah. World. Well, and they've got, you know, and, and, Increasingly, that older segment, they're child care helpers. They're also, um, you know, they're also going to be the, the, you know, some of the shoppers in the family, you know, because I mean, they're, for the most part, listen, seriously, I mean, I know people right, moving so, to towns where mom and dad are yeah. because you they need that built in. Yeah. yeah, you need that support they system, right? The so, child care. Yeah. Yeah. And you start spending two grand a month per kid or whatever child care costs now. Shit, man. You know, you, you know. Yeah. You're making ten grand a month by the time taxes. Yeah, you know, child. Yeah, you're yeah. working for free. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah. So I've got a bad clothes, and mom and dad, like you said, uh, and it's most likely going to be the mom in that generation is going to be like the queen of the world. Yeah. Right. And what mom says, you can't have a, a really cool influencer there. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, we're we're gonna try this. Um, we're gonna, we've got to build some stuff for him and. Uh, it's cool. See what happens. See what happens. I'm pretty stoked. I, I, I you know, it is. I really like him. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. You know. Yeah. We had a good day with him. We talked to a designer today. We talked yeah. to talked to sales. We got marketing going. We were yeah. doing talking about manufacturing today. Okay. So we were like, okay, freaking all Gentlemen. over the place. Yeah, yeah. Love it. Love it. That's yeah, amazing. It was, it was good. It was a good day. Yeah. Very good yeah. day. Nice. Nice. What else is going on with you? You know what? It's it's the, those type of projects. Like the, the last couple of weeks has been mostly that. It's more with the smaller guys, and we're having to go back to true basics. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And 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 I'll tell you something. Like, so for people seeing like personas to me are so much easier to do on a business that is existing. Because it forced you to sit down and say, okay, do you actually know who your customer is? You've yeah. been selling it. Right? Once you start going through the exit, you'd be surprised how little you know because you don't focus on it. You think you know, but then you start doing it. So yeah. this is the third account that, that we've been doing this type of work and going back to doing the personas and then doing a SWOT. Like yeah. old school, basic, just fundamentals of marketing, right? And doing um, the same thing you did. You know, what's, yeah. What media are you getting? Then. Yeah. To, so, to your point, so to your point, um, the, the digital thing. So the craze that everyone gets on of, Hey, I built a product, like just jump on socials. Um, this is what you miss along the way. And, and it's, it's, it's fundamental to the digital process too, is you're supposed to go and like, if you're going to jump on, let's say you build a product and you're like, I don't know anything about marketing. I'm just going to jump on Facebook and I'm going to start advertising. I'm going to start talking. You are still building personas, but it's going to take you way, way longer to understand what those are. So you, you yeah. still need to do the work, right? So I think this is where, you know, when you, you know, Kenny gets a little mad about this is, is everyone says, Oh, it's so easy. But the problem is, is you are skipping fundamental steps, right? And, and exactly. if, you, if you look at, um, you know, guys who are really good at this, like Hootsuite in the industry, Hootsuite would say to you, you still need personas. You still need to build them, you know, and, and you still, you, you can even, you can even test them in socials, but you still need to build the personas. Otherwise the work you're doing isn't any good. Right. So this is like, 
you know, basic marketing fundamentals that work, um, you know, that kind of transcend online, offline, or wherever else we're going to go with this yeah. crap is you still need to understand who your customer is all the time. Right. Yeah. So yeah. 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 And I would even push it to like, I used to, cause I have some businesses that are obviously not all B to C they're B to B and then that B would be B to C. Right. right. Yeah. So it's not, you know, and someone may say, well, it's tough to build, you know, a, um, a profile of my retailer. And I, I would probably would say, yeah, you know, you can treat a retailer sort of as an entity, mm-hmm. but then again, step out. Who are the customers of that retailer? Mm-hmm. You know, you, yeah. you got to, you got to, you know, it's not selling just to the retailer. Cause I'm honestly like a lot of people in distribution, they sell to the retailer and that's their customer. Yeah. Well, it is, but it's not. Yeah. Because if you sell to the wrong retailer of the end customer, which is who you actually sell to, yep. is that yeah. customer in the store. So you might be excited and got the PO. Yeah. But you got a PO in an account that doesn't mean shit to you. But no, you know what I mean? That and that happens a lot. Yeah. Well, okay, so so that's a great example, right? So um if if you were to sell a PO to Sears right now, right? Um, you'd be ecstatic because you you got the PO to go, maybe they'd even figure out how to pay you, which I'm pretty sure they can't now. But if they no, did, right, um, you'd be like, woohoo. But your problem is, is that that shit ain't going anywhere now, right? Like, because yeah. it, it, you know, Sears is probably the best example because they didn't have any customers in the end. So it doesn't matter, you know, the, that's, that's kind of the miss is you need Because they know. forgot what their business was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they didn't know who their customers were. They didn't know right. what their business was, right? But that's the jam, right? Is is you know, it's almost like selling pet stuff to uh, you know, pet stuff to Longos and figure try like having a grocery store try and sell you know dog shoes. It's not going to work, right? Like it's not going to work. You know, but now, if you're a pet not. person and you could go yeah. the other way and say, okay, but if I look at the customers in a drugstore, yeah, it's the same people that are in pet stores. Yeah. You're hundred percent right. Yeah. But you've got to be careful what you put in here. Now you got to go down to, you know, when you're in a grocery store, what are you thinking? What is that person yeah. doing? Yeah. It's not well, a destination. Yeah. Like again, go through the persona of who that customer is within your category. Yep. Not just who they are in the store and it's not relevant necessarily. Yeah. 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 Right? Because yeah. pet people are obviously in Longos. But they're not going to buy a mukluk, but they'll buy dog food, they'll buy cat food, they'll buy some toys. Yeah. But it's not going to be destination shop. It's going to be impulsive or it's going to be gap. Yeah. And so you you might want to sell. Whatever it is. Yeah. You might want to sell an accent product, like um, like a little leash or something that's cute, right? That they go, hey, you know what? Like I wasn't Uh, spending 60 bucks here on a dog product, but you know what? You've got a cute leash for, you know, 10 bucks or 12 bucks like yeah yeah i might do that you know like that's an increment or, or a cat toy or a yeah, dog yeah, yeah. or uh, dog treats or something right like what yeah. exactly yeah. where it's not it's not way outside in the world of oh my god i couldn't believe that's here yeah yeah, but yeah. start going into a muck like you know that you're you're i mean honestly i am you know a grocery shopper is most likely not thinking Definitely. that's no your location there's there's no um and it's not that they can't afford it, right? Because they're they're gonna go it's buy it. It's just that, that it's just it's the, the mindset technology of it, right? It's it's really that exactly. you know, it's it's kind of like, you know, you might as well try and sell them a Volvo, right? While they're in the Longos, right? Because you're you're kinda like, you know, I'm yeah. thinking about dinner, I'm thinking about all these things. I don't like at that moment, I, I don't have a mindset. I haven't haven't thought about my dog's feet. I'm I'm not prepared to spend another sixty bucks. You're not right? even you're not even remotely yeah. thinking of it. Now, yeah. if the Longos was in a town where the Longos was sort of the main retailer yeah. in town. And there's yeah. a lot of towns in, yep. in uh, Northern Alberta and, and Eastern yeah. Alberta and through the prairies and interior BC that yeah. have those towns, you know, yeah. those 1,000, 2,000 person towns. And the grocer yeah. could be. Or, or could your, your friends at Value Drug. Guy, right? Or even pharmacy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? That's possible. Yeah. But yeah. again, no know where your customers are the end one and know the capability of your retail customer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This is where people that you do, you need to spend some time, Yeah. some time going through this. And that's why it's, it's, you know, like today was, 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 was great for that because it does, it brings you back to like, it's marketing one one Yeah. It really is. You know, really it's kind of just, it's just, yeah. you know, all the stuff everybody used to laugh at and you're thinking, well, if you don't do it, man, 
No, you, you don't you get can't. the basics down. Yeah. Hey, you, you, you can, you can, you can fake it till you make it for so long, but yeah. But you do, you, you'll get jammed up because you, you're not you thinking about it. And you're, you're, you know what'll happen, Phil? You plateau and you know why you plateaued? Because yeah. you got horseshoes up your ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you yeah. probably did okay, but you yeah. weren't really thinking of anything. Yeah, and then you ran, you right? shit all your horseshoes and you're shit out of luck. Ha ha. No, well, sorry. hopefully you don't shit them all out. Bad but puns, that's what that's, that's yeah. the story. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that's what's going on, man. I think that's what's digress. going on. You know. Oh, freaking juveniles. I know. I know. Man. Man. Uh, the uh, mic. What's that? Oh, you're starting to cut out now. I think my internet is. It's Daniel. He's playing Fortnite again. This, I can't remember what it was. Try a different uh, internet. <laughs> so we got two or three listeners now, maybe. I or think maybe so. five. I think so. Um, so we got Adam and Linda. We uh we did I, if we haven't pissed them off. I, I um as a as a public service announcement, I, I think we need to make an apology. I think you discovered it, but somewhere along the way our podcasting service had some trouble with um podcast our podcast episode from last week. So it did. It didn't I, come until this morning, apparently. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know how many people have gotten the episode. Um, I guess people who have it on like auto download will get it. Um, but uh, we, you know, a couple of folks might. Um, Linda brought it up this morning. She goes, what, what? She goes, when did you guys record? Yeah. I said, we recorded Monday for Tuesday. She goes, yeah. yeah. But I said, no, I said, I tried to get on yesterday because I followed a link of yours, I think on Twitter yeah. and it yeah. kept, and I was thinking, Mommy. and so I honestly, I signed into, I, I went all over thinking, yeah, ah, that it can't be me. That's why I sent you that quick note saying, yeah, yeah. Ah, something went screwy here. Yeah. Something went screwy. I don't know what it is. Oh, um, you know, the other call out here is for our friend, Rachel Farewell. Um, so for anyone who's listening to us and you've seen our socials change, our social game is all up because Rachel Farewell has her match. Yeah, totally. Right? Like, yeah, I, I noticed the, and I thought, mm, this doesn't look like Phil. Yeah, no, our, our stuff is lit now, right? And that's, yeah. that's all her. Like, that's just, uh, you know, so Rachel Farewell is who you're looking for. Uh, but you got to get her through us. So you, you got to message us. And, and we'll... That's the way it works, baby. <laughs> it's got to be, someone's got to do some skimming. Got to be a commish. She's just going to edit me out. That's what's going to happen, right? <laughs> Ever. you know what we'll do we'll just pepper the whole pro all, pull, all through it every couple seconds yeah, yeah. subliminally yeah commission commission i know i know you know what though i will i'll throw her link below uh if you are interested she is uh she is an aspiring freelancer and she's really good like our our social feed uh buka moranga um if you go into instagram and look at uh, b-u-k-a dot moranga um the her that stuff is her as well and and she's kind of all over the place but she's she's really great um, i'll put it on the next one because i wouldn't mind going to a few of these too okay okay yeah. and then what we should do is yeah, we yeah. probably should do one for linda be talking enough about it we should probably put pro lab on a few of these so yeah if anybody's looking for some uh yeah some we really should. good contract man you've got for yeah. high quality yeah um and they'll work with you you don't have to be a you yeah. know a conglomerate you could be yeah. a small person to do yeah you know smaller you know run Rachel is, farewell is a good person to have on this show too um well we have to do linda first yeah yeah linda well linda webs next week right so then maybe yeah. we can do we'll do rachel in a couple of weeks after that yeah I, right. and i'd like to have shanane so, on the show too shanane because i want her to talk you know to get to yes. give the pr angle and and yes. some of that like, i think shanane would be pretty cool too uh you know what i actually need to talk to shanane so let me do that and then yeah let's see if she'll do it because i think that'd be yeah. kind of fun too right yeah. Let me email her and then I got to, I got to, she might be avoiding the uh, Toronto area right now because of this ridiculous snap. Um, I, I'm trying to avoid the Toronto area because I am, I'm freezing. Like I am, I never complain about the cold. I freaking love it. I love the snow, but I am like, I'm cold. Everybody I know country. is pissing and moaning about the wet. Yeah. You guys sound I'm, like Vancouver, right? You know what? I, I well, really am. I'm legitimately cold. Like, so today I was walking. So what I've been doing over the last three days is I, you know, normally you wear a scarf and you, you tuck it inside to kind of like seal yeah. up any of the loose spots. Right. 
I've got the thing wrapped around my head. So everyone in Toronto right now, like it is so cold that you, you like everything freezes, right? So like you figure out your jacket and you get all your jacket and sweater stuff, right? But um, like thick mittens, anybody who has a legitimate mitten, uh, like everyone skipped gloves and gone straight to mittens because it's so cold here. You um, keep your fingers all nice and tight yeah. together. So, so um, every mitten that you can find that's legit is sold out. And then everyone in Toronto is walking around with, with scars up to here. So it, wow. it, you almost look like you're on a ski hill because you got, you got your hat and your hood on and then you got scars here. So all you can see is like this, right? Like people are eyes. like this all the time, right? Because it's just That's crazy. It's, uh, it's freaking cold out. So you know. not better you than us. Yeah. I think that's what we say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I that's not what that. I say. Yeah. I accept that. I accept that. Yeah. You got no choice. Uh, what are you going to do? do, do? I did out like I give a shit. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. All right, dude. That's all I got. That's it. Yeah, That's me too. I got to go back. I got to have some work done. I, you got to go to bed. Uh, I, You're a working man now. I got I to. Gotta, no, you know what? I, I still have stuff to do, but I, um, I, I came home and did more stuff. But I, I think um, like marketing copy remar- requires a fresh brain, right? So I just got to. You know what? Just go to sleep. So, we'll talk to Kathy yeah. for a while. No, no. She's, she's gone. Are you kidding? It's, it's like 10 to 12. Like. At like oh, yeah, nine nine forty five, she was like, yeah. "Are you are you going to do the podcast?" Yeah, I, I got to go to bed, right? I'm like, I haven't seen you all day. What's what's going? On? She's like, "Uh huh, yeah. uh-huh. tough beans." <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Yeah, that's awesome, man. All right, that's the end of this commerce life. We'll be back soon with the next episode. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Give us feedback. Tell us what you think. Subscribe, like us, join us, share us, tell your friends about us. And uh, we hope to see you next time with, uh, with more commerce news.